Okay, this is part two of um, Rosalind Jenkins, African American Commissioner. I used to want to be like part two. Um, so when I had had some trouble at DSHS and was trying to transfer out of there. I had prayed for God to get me another job and I had several interviews with different agencies, Department of Personnel, Department of Wild, Fish and Wildlife. I interviewed at um, some other DSHS organizations in Olympia. Um, Department of Licensing, and there was just a couple of them. I can't think of them off the top of my head, but it was for top agencies, and I was having like three interviews a week, and um, I even recall one time I had this interview at Department of Personnel, and it was oh, it was a nightmare, and I and I remember how jealous my boss was because she didn't have any college. And she, um, even though she was the uh, administrator, I guess she was some, somewhat jealous of me because I have a bachelor's degree. And I was um, getting ready to move out of the Department of Social and Health Services. And probably, and I would have had a really good uh, career had she had not stopped it. And she, she knew that I had to go to the interview because I had to put in an application because when you work for the state, they allow you to go to interviews and they, you know, pay you. And um, but you just have to put in a leaf slip and then you put on there, you know, how long it's going to take you or where you're going or whatever. And you just put on their interview. You don't even really have to put on there what agency, but somehow I think she knew or something. And um, she kept haggling over like the 15 minutes of the travel time that it took to get to Olympia and I wanted to give myself enough time so that I could have find parking because it's real really bad parking down there and so she was like haggling over me. I think I wanted to get like an hour or something 15 minutes and she was like oh that's too much time and it takes like about 40 minutes to drive up there and you know how when you get to an interview you want to be prepared a little bit and you want to have a, you know parking you want to be able to find the parking meter thing to pay and and you know just kind of prep yourself in the car well she was trying to deny me all of that and try to just rush me up there really quick to hurry up and get my interview and then so I have to hurry up and come back and I'll be in trouble and um, so I just ignored her whatever I put it in and I did exactly what she said and she even signed off on it but do you know she turned around and called Department of Personnel the day that I went up there for my interview and had to ask them about how much time was allotted or something and like basically made me look like I had left without permission to come up there and you know just it just looked bad because it uh, made me look like I wasn't dependable or I was just like trying to get out of work or something and um, I remember when I had this panel interview and one of the ladies was on employment security she was like the executive assistant to like the head person or something she was real high level and um i liked her and we had hit it off and everything and i was answering all the questions the best of my ability i was doing really well all the scenarios i had the you know correct answers and the experience for the job and that was like a lifetime job that i wanted forever is to work for department of personnel because i always like to help people find jobs and that was kind of a goal that I was like, oh, I hope I can get in there one day. So when I had the interview, it was just, I was ecstatic, okay? And then when my boss sabotaged me, I was devastated, okay? So she called there and um, basically st talked about me and trashed me. And then when I was in the interview, I never will forget, um, they said something about, you know, the parking and did I find the parking okay? And I was like, yeah, I did. And they said, because they have these boots that they put on people's cars. And if you don't, you know, pay for the parking or something, you, um, 
have to um, basically get this boot thing strapped to your car and to your tire and then you have to pay to get you know it off or something you can't go nowhere and um, so they were I guess concerned that that was going to happen to me and I said no I found parking okay it was okay you know everything was all right and I remember you know kind of glancing out the window and seeing you know somebody a car had that on there one of their tires they had pointed it out or something to me and they were basically just hinting around letting me know that my boss had called and um, they didn't really say nothing but they you could tell they were just kind of dropping little hints and so when I got back to work and I was so happy you know everything went well I thought and I my boss was like how did it go and I said oh everything was it was great everything went fine and she said oh well, I called there and I called department personnel and asked him about the time and then it went and told me I mean she just like had to rub it in my face she was so happy that she had sabotaged that job for me and I just I just remember going back to my desk and just sitting there and just trying to hold back the tears and just sobbing and crying and just I couldn't believe it I even had to go home I think early that day because I was so traumatized because I had worked so long and hard and built up an education that got a bachelor's degree edu you know and I have my state experience and I was so close to getting in there and I could have helped so many people you know get jobs and this woman was so mean and she gets like six thousand dollars a month and she just couldn't stand for me to you know make as much as her almost and you know and I was like oh I guess that's what this is about you know she just doesn't want me to have any kind of clout or anything and so she she basically just cut that off for me and now I'm blocked forever because I had to file a two million dollar lawsuit against DSHS which got dismissed and DOL and just you know they're never going to want to hire me because now I'm like blacklisted because I tried to sue the state for discrimination and so it just is real upsetting you know that she basically wiped away my dream and um what I, you know, hoped to become one day, um, is someone, you know, that would make a difference, and so I'm just real, real pissed about it.